going to go ahead and finish. Case study. Mrs. T, 50 years old, has been complaining of forgetting her appointment. She is very fatigued and sleeps 10 to 12 hours per night. She complains to her physician that this is very unusual for her and she's worried. Her doctor orders a TSH to determine if there is any imbalance. Her TSH is high and she is diagnosed with hypothyroidism. What actions would you take with your client? Okay, so medications. She's saying, yeah, you know, this is a new diagnosis for her, right? She didn't know that she had it, so there's definitely going to be some teaching. So, you know, assessing the patient, neurological status, because if she's confused, you know, a patient's neurological status needs to be assessed. We need to see if it's getting better or if it's worse, so we need a baseline, right? Um, comfort measures, you know, with hypothyroidism, she could be having constipation. The scenario didn't say she was. But, you know, what are some of those signs and symptoms that are a common sign and symptom with hypothyroid? And then just go ahead and gear your interventions toward those signs and symptoms. Um, of course, your patient would then have the sensory replacement, um, the thyroid replacement medication. So not only are they going to receive ed education on their disease process because it's new, but they're also going to receive education on their medication and maybe some tests that might be done. You know, if this is new, the doctor may order an ultrasound. We can let our patients know why the ultrasound is being ordered. Um, maybe there's a radioactive uptake test that might be done. All right. Um, so there are a couple different things that we can um, do there. And here comes another question. The nurse is admitting the client with a diagnosis of myxedema coma. Which of the following actions and symptoms would provide data related to this diagnosis? Okay. So inspection of facial features and skin. Um, you know, they have that, that, that swelling, you know, maybe some periorbital or edema. They might have some neck swelling related to the goiter. Um, checking the pulse box is irrelevant for this. Percussing, we don't percuss a thyroid gland. Um, and then palpate the adrenals, and the adrenals shouldn't even be an option here because it's definitely an eliminator. Um, there should have been something, you know, else there that was relevant. So which of the following points should the nurse emphasize while discussing discharge instructions with a client newly diagnosed with hypothyroidism? Yes, take the medication at the same time every day. Um, do we want to avoid foods and calcium? No, we want to eat foods and calcium. Do we want to restrict fluids? No, we want to keep our fluids coming. And then do we want to have a decreased fiber diet? No, we want to increase fiber diet because someone who's hypothyroid, what's their bowel pattern? They're going to have some constipation, right? So then we have some rationales that go along with the answer. Um, and then that's it for the hypothyroidism. So. A good side-by-side -side comparison, medications are going to be different, signs and symptoms are going to be different, testing is going to be the same because you're going to do the same blood test because that's going to tell you what you have, either hyper or hypo. It's just that those levels are going to be flipped. So if you know those, um, you'll, be, you'll be good.